this is the baby. Man, she looks sexy. that fix and her life she looks beautiful I want to plan to add maybe a ladder on the back and maybe a roof deck and possibly maybe another ladder on this side and yeah, she's a work in progress guys she is a work in progress but hopefully she don't give me disappointments along the way let me know what you guys think down below and don't forget to subscribe comment and like it's a ford ecoline 1994 v8 5.8 it is a gas saver <laughs> um give you guys a little tour this is gonna be my project for the summer Kind of messy, uh, me and my brother. We are replacing the spark plugs. Ugh. Let me show you guys. See, so, yeah, you can see these spark plugs were pretty old. Um, so right now the problem that I have with this van is that the rpm is really high and it's accelerating so i'm not sure what that issue can be um i was told it could be the tps the throttle position sensor um uh, hopefully it's not something big and it is a high top so i'm able to stand up just because i'm short and it does come with a lift. I'm not sure how I'm gonna kick that off, but I'm gonna test the van out, see if I like it, see if I'm able to enjoy it. So I put like 90 bucks in gas. I already had a cord, so yeah, that was a little sting. Well guys, I am out and uh, this is going to be a new adventure, van life. Um, pretty excited just because I'm going to have a lot more room. I'm going to be able to stand up. Look at this. Ooh, barely, barely, barely. Um, I like it because it has like freaking one two three four five six seven eight nine about nine speakers so after changing the spark plugs the rotor the ignition coil distributor cap um the van is not starting it cranks but it won't turn it will, it won't turn over so we don't know what it's causing for the van not to start um other than that i was only planning to take the van to the shop for try to um diagnose the steering wheel because it would not turn over to the right it would turn to the left fine perfectly but to the right it seemed like if the van was off so that was the original reason why i was gonna take it to the shop so they can fix that problem so i decided to take the van with my brother you know what let's change the spark plugs let's change you know let's do the oil change which that wasn't no problem then until we turned it off because there was a high idle and when we would rev it it would go down but 
I'm not sure what caused it when we turned it off and it would not turn back on. It would crank, but um, it would not turn over. So that's where I'm at. And uh, I'm starting not to like Ford already. So hopefully it's not something too big of a deal. So if you guys have any ideas of what it could be or if you guys have run into this issue, please comment below give me a few tips few pointers i'll be very grateful looking forward for this year to cross country but i gotta make sure my van's in top notch thanks guys